What is good everybody welcome back to another My Damn Toys video today we have another epic episode of My Damn Hauls <laughs> So on this episode of My Name Hauls, guys, we got three packages right here. I believe we got some fan mail, we got some custom commission pieces fodder stuff, and then we got a big package right here from my good buddy Jake from State Farm. It's Jake from State Farm. That sounds like a really good deal. Jake from State Farm at 3 in the morning? Who is this? It's, it's Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, khakis. She sounds hideous. Well, she's a guy, so... Who uh, always gives us the great loose figure deal, so uh, cannot wait to crack that open. There's definitely some rare and great figures in there, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so you know how we do. The only way to cut open envelopes is with a trusty knife. So let's cut this hoe open. So just give it a little cutsy right here off the top. Maybe we won't damage the figure that's in here. This actually comes from the Titans vault. Maybe I can plug his uh, his uh, thingy there on the screen there. As you see, we got an Elite 57 Jeff Hardy figure. And um, I don't know if this is going to work for the custom that he wants me to do. I thought he wanted me to do the Rainbow Jeff, but I don't know how I can do it with this. I thought he was going to send an Epic Moments Jeff, so uh, I'm not sure. We'll have to... About to cross that bridge here soon because uh, I don't know how I can, uh, I don't know, paint this torso. I don't know. I, I guess we can just see what we can do there. But yeah, Jeff Hardy, freaking epic sauce figure. So this next package actually comes from a great subscriber to the channel. Big fan of the show, CM2.0. Always friendly, always a great guy, always a just great follower of the channel. I have the link to his YouTube channel in the description below. He's also a patron of the of the uh, channel here, so huge shout out to you, bro. Thank you so much for this fan mail. We're going to cut it open right here and see what we got in here. Um, since you're a big fan, I'm sure that we're going to have some good stuff in here. So opening it up. And it looks like we have a sick AF basic Tommy Dreamer. I have never owned this figure before. I've always been a huge fan of Tommy Dreamer. So to have this figure finally in my collection is freaking sweet. Thank you so much, bro. This is epic AF. Look at the ECW logo on there with the t-shirt. I always liked his attires. He always rocked the sickest attires. Um, very original. But uh, if I can convert this into an elite, bro, we may put him in the pick bed, have him toss it up with extreme champion Bobby Lashley and Sandman and RVD and Rhino and all the good stuff. So he will definitely be added to the pick bed if I can convert him into elite. Thank you so much, bro. Huge shout out to you again. CM 2.0, big fan of the show. Got his own YouTube channel. Go check him out. And uh, let's get into the last package. All right, guys, this last package is a big one. I believe we got like five loose figures in here. I'm going to try to be careful not to slit any of them's throat as I slide open this little folder right here. And, uh, yeah, we cut it open. And as we rip this hoe open, we can take out each figure one by one and show you guys. You may can already tell what we got in here. But uh, the first figure we got right here, guys, is the Elite 9 Drew McIntyre figure. Look at this. I have never owned this figure before. Um, very, very sweet. You know, this is the first time we ever got this torso, if I'm not mistaken. And this is just so nice, especially since he's back in WWE. This is just so cool to have. Um, I have my custom one that uh, we'll definitely have to look at up next to this. It is packaged away in all of these boxes, though. Um, but this is a sweet attire. I always liked him, so this is this is so cool to see this flashback elite of Drew McIntyre. Um, so this is very awesome. Let's go on to the next figure. The next figure we got is an Elite Undertaker, and it looks like it is the Elite 23. I don't think this is the Lost Legends. It just looks like it's, you know, I, I it, this just looks older to me. I could be wrong, but um, I, I am liking the way this looks. Uh, it doesn't have the tie on there. This is very sweet. I love this head scan. This head scan just looks better than the Elite uh, Lost Legends, but I could be wrong. I could. I bet if I put it up next to it, it would look the exact same. But uh, we got this Undertaker next up. We have another dead man right here, and it looks like it is the WrestleMania 32 Undertaker. You can never get too many of these guys because they're such good bodies for, you know, 
2005 Ruthless Aggression Era Undertakers. So I'm very happy to have another one of these in the collection right there. This is freaking sweet nasty. Um, I was talking to TJ from Undisputed Brotherhood the other day, talking about how like, it seemed like they had a hundred of these, and then when you went back to buy them, they were just gone. So it's really cool to get another one of those. Next figure we got up is, again, another Undertaker, and I think this is the Elite One, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there are some scuffs that I'll have to paint up. You know, we got some highlighters stuff going on in that skull right there. Got some scuffage right here that we're going to have to take care of as well. But still, another Undertaker to add to the collection. Looking freaking nice. Got the little demon skull face thing over there on his tights. So that's a sweet one, and now the last... Loose figure that we have in this envelope is, it looks like a fix-up WrestleMania 32 Undertaker. You see it's the same body as this one over here. Yes, yeah, same exact body, different head scans. This looks like a, uh, sort of like an early Ruthless Aggression, late Attitude Era when he was the American Badass. It's got the long reddish hair. It doesn't have Dead Man ink on it, but it's still fresh. Got the elbow pads on there and everything. So we got to add four takers to the collection in today's My Damn Halls episode. All right, guys, well, here we have the entire haul all lined up. As you see, we have four new Undertaker elites to add to the collection. Got a custom Jeff Hardy that I'm going to have to figure out now. So, bro, if you're watching this, please hit me up so we can discuss this. Got a brand new Drew McIntyre elite. I've never owned that figure before. And the basic from CM 2.0. Thank you so much again, bro, for that figure. That is so awesome to have that now in my collection. I'm going to go ahead and get started on trying to convert him into an elite because I would love to see him in the pick fed. That would be freaking just sweet nasty. You know, we got all the weapons and the extreme championship. It would just be really fun to see Tommy Dreamer mix it up with all those guys like he did in ECW. But um, that's going to do it for this episode of My Name Halls, guys. Thank you again so much for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed the figures here today or you enjoyed the video. Comment down below your favorite figure from this haul we picked up here today. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Check us out on Patreon.com slash MyDamnToys for some awesome rewards. Check out our first ever t-shirt that you can pick up over at Teespring.com slash MyDamnToys. All of the information is in the description below. All the links and ish. So go hit those up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.